so welcome back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. This one, we're going to talk through all four new Set 10 SCRs that have been revealed within the last couple of days. And I haven't really done too many card reviews in a while, but I did do want to go through all of these new SCRs because there are a lot of different opinions on it. And one of them is going to be a promo SCR which is Sin, Sin Shenron. I'm gonna talk about how to get that as well. If you are new, definitely subscribe and like all that other stuff. If you want this cool shirt, it's in the description in the store. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and go into the promo SER, which is Sin Shenron. And I was actually talking about this in one of the uh, live streams when I was playing Sin Shenron. And I think I even mentioned it in the deck profile that I had as well, which you can check out over there, I think. The, the cool thing about this is one, we've never had a promo SCR. And what that means is that this is, this is literally the only promotion card, as you can see at the bottom right, it does have the P and as well as the secret rare tag. And it also has the ultimate tag as well, where uh, you can actually get it within an event and as well as just a promotional type of event type thing. And two, of course, it's more support for Sin Shenron. As Sin Shenron does get more support over time, I think he's going to become a better and better deck within the tiers of decks and just in general. Because this is sort of a one of, there's a few reasons why. But before we do that, it does have, we'll just go over the effects. It does have ultimate, of course. You can only have one in the deck, which is the whole reason why it is a, a secret rare. If uh, I think if you have four in, the, in this deck and it was a pr promo card, I think that would become an issue. <laughs> and then it also has the deflect tag, which is amazing. The only thing that really can actually stop this, I would say, on the play is probably uh, Champa. But even then, the Sin Shenron leader does restand it, so it's pretty cool. And then we also have the blocker, which we'll kind of get into via the auto. And then you reduce the cost of this card in your hand for one, or one by one, for each card in the drop area. Um, with an energy cost of one, and this card can't be removed by your battle area by your opponent's skills. So it's pretty similar to all the other Shin Shenron stuff. One, it is amazing that it is reduced by one in the hand. It is good that it didn't do it in the deck, because if you take a look at the other um, the other uh, Shin Shenron card, so the one drop uh, uh, negative energy ball or whatever it's called, it actually searches for two to three costs or two to four costs. And to avoid putting foot in mouth, here's the actual card in which, again, same thing, you can't be affected by the opponent's skills. Uh, if your looter card is a sin sh uh, Shadow Dragon, you can pay one and then you can put, some, put it in the drop area and you can choose one Sin Shenron with energy cost of two or four in your deck or hand and play it. So the reason why it's really good or it could be really good is the fact that, again, if you reduce it by four or two four or to three or to, to two, basically, you can play this from the hand. Is, is it worth playing um, this secret versus any other secret? And that's really the, the thing about every secret that I'm gonna talk about today, but I'll, I'll kind of get back to that in a second. The, um, the fact that you can play that from your hand for basically for one energy is damn good, and it, it's gonna sit there. Um, it doesn't, it's not gonna be removed by opponent's skills. It's just not, it's just not gonna go anywhere. Now, the auto is pretty cool because the, when you activate the blocker skill, you switch it to active mode, and then it gains uh, negative 5k power for the duration of the turn. Because you can switch it to uh, active mode, not only that you can basically block every single attack until it dies, or until they combo out of it, which probably by 25k, the third block, it would be, uh, it would be very possible for them to do that. I think that in itself is a really, really good thing. Uh, for this card in itself. Is it very generic? No, not really. I think the 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 best deck for this is obviously Senshenron, the leader, and as well as the one drop that, that I just showed you. Um, and I think the best combo with this is gonna be Ultimate Blow, in which uh, as soon as you, as soon as they play something, you can play Ultimate Blow, it gains revenge, and now anything that, that it, they attack with is now gonna be going against, what, a 50K revenge blocker? Actually, a 10k revenge blocker, which is pretty damn good. Well, no, 45k revenge blocker. <laughs> so as soon as they play something, and you know it's a it's a card that will end your life or end the game itself, you can go ahead and counterplay, give it 10k, and now it can go ahead and have uh, an extra, basically two blocks uh, without that auto actually affecting it and having that 35k base as well as revenge. So a card that doesn't get off the field by their skills, 
uh, can gain revenge and basically does doesn't die and can protect you for the entire game especially if you're playing the sin shenron leader to get to that six energy to play it or to play all your your um your uh your shadow dragons for the drop including this one i think it's damn good again would i play this over uh the cell zeno i don't know i don't really think so um but i think if you're playing sin shenron if you're playing uh, mono yellow if you're playing all the dragons and he gains more support later on i think this is a perfect ser for that for that deck and i'm very happy to see it now you might be wondering how do you even get this promo card um the biggest thing about this is that it is going to be the rising in unison warrior store championship if you just go to the event uh and you're localized because it's going to be different if you're at us or whatever uh event and then tournament and then the store championship you can actually see more information about it the, the quick breakdown is that it's going to be between august 1st and 31st so it's not going to be even legal until then or around then um it's not part of the 2020 championship season blah 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 right it is going to be singles it's going to be constructed from what i understand is that it's going to be any unison series set one cards allows for this tournament so i think it's going to be any unison warriors like set 10 and then all the starter decks if if i'm not mistaken so anything that you can construct with that um and just the regular construction event constructed event which you can find here in the tournament rules manual um is going to be allowed so it's going to be swiss rounds no top cut uh best of three all that and now the cool thing about this is that you actually do get two championship packs for the 2020 um for participation and then you also get a fo foil version of the ser card and then you also get a uh, event pack six which these are all the new event packs which the great ape goku that i mentioned before in a previous video is going to be uh, available for that and then of course the winner does get another well a foil gold stamp version um for that so basically you can attend it get your packs get this ser card and if you don't do well then that's okay because you still get pretty much everything that you needed of course here are the versions of the gold stamp it has kind of like these little golden type things going on versus these red and black type things going on um these are the guidelines for the distribution hopefully all of your local game stores will follow these i can't really say why i think i highly recommend uh that people uh consult their <laughs> local game store right now so that way you can actually have a chance to even get these cards all right let's talk about the next secret rare which is going to be the super saiyan 4 gogeta um this one's really good i think there are a couple of hesitations for this uh, for a number of reasons, but uh, I know the video is kind of hard to, to see it. But if you haven't already seen it, it basically says it does have triple strike, obviously has an ultimate tag, and the permanent says you can't play battle cards. Um, this can't be removed from the battle area by skills, and you can't combo with cards in your battle area. And of course, the activate main, it says five colorless. Um, if your all of your energy is the same color, you play this card from your hand, you draw two cards, switch two energy to active mode, and your opponent chooses two cards from their hand, and two <laughs> battle cards and switches to the warp. That is very, very Yu-Gi-Oh, if anything. So basically for five energy, you get a 45k triple striker and then uh, you do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I think this is probably generically the best super or the secret rare out of all of them. Um, I think I don't know if it's gonna be the best one, but I, I do think it's definitely in contention for the be being the best one. Uh, I'm very I'm very curious to see how people are ranking all these these secret rares But if anything the the first thing that I I think is going to be kind of an issue for ruling Which they need to probably clear it clear it up is that if you're all of your energy is the same color Which obviously we had issues with the ISRs obviously we had issues with um, Different things like paying for energy and as well as multicolor energy I think from what I can tell it is intended for mono mono colored decks It's not so much intended for multicolor decks or color uh, like energy that has multicolor and then multi uh, monocolor afterwards if we're going with the same color as in like you know we have uh all green and then a blue green technically that blue green is still green so you can all, you can pay that for that five color energy so i think it's probably gonna be ruled that way so i don't know as far as the effects and as well as the card itself i think it's definitely really good if you can get to that uh, fifth turn or five energy in general not only that it can't be removed not only that um, they have to pitch two and then you get to ko two or move two uh, but it is technically a three cost in which you untap those two energy especially if you're playing something that already untaps like blue or if you play something that is just overall uh, energy efficient i think this is perfect and it's not even a turn turn five it's basically just 
uh, three energy ser which is just busted as a sentence in general so i think um this is really good i think sandy's new youtube you can go check out his opinions he, he talks about a little bit more for this card uh, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I don't think uh, it's it's not that great. It's the first time we have a generically good blue su uh, secret rare. All the other blue secret rares are very spe specified and really just kind of mediocre in comparison. Um, and uh, it doesn't have deflect, which is kind of a, a big thing. So I, I think if they pay five reveal and it gets frost deadly poisoned or uh, deflected, I think what what does happen, however, is that you have to play the card in order to get the effects. So let's say if we do uh, Frost Deadly Poison, it still can be um, affected and just because it can't be removed or yeah, can't be removed, that's that's perfectly fine. It still can be Frost Deadly Poisoned or counterplayed like Cold Blood Lust or something else. Um, and it, it's not activate main, it has to be from the hand. So I would imagine that if you reveal, pay the five. Uh, I'm trying to think if like the new counterplay is like not Frieza, but like uh, the Trunks kind of play for blue or mono blue. Uh, the mono blue unisons that is would affect it. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't. Well, it would because you have to play the cards first, and then Trunks says instead of being played, it gets sent back to the hand. So I'm very curious to see if you guys have a ruling on that. If you guys have some rulings to back it up, you can say that it is. But I would like to see something from the rule book that says otherwise. So. Uh, very interesting ser very happy that a blue that blue got one um i'm, I'm sure this one's going to be pretty expensive compared to the other ones right, here's the other one which is going to be the uh super saiyan 3 gotens uh basically this is the i guess the ultimate or finisher uh for the gotens deck it's very obvious because of the permanent in which you can reduce the cost by one for each bottle card of 15k power in the drop area um and it's basically a four drop and then you negate the skills of all other battle cards, which is basically a four cost um, uh, drop box King Vegeta. And then the auto says is that when this card is removed from the battle area by the opponent's skill, choose all of your opponent's battle cards or energy costs in rest mode. Oh, your opponent's car, battle cards and energy in rest mode. And then you get to ignore barrier and place it in the drop area. That is a super powerful effect for four. Um, I think the idea of this is that not only that uh, it is supposed to be for the the um, the Goten stack. You're supposed to be using the Gogeta Unison, um, the two specified cost Unison, in which you pitch two yellow cards and then uh, you draw two. And basically, as soon as you have what what is this uh, four battle cards of 15k power, which the Unison cards, the um, the uh, Goten and Trunks, right? Goten and Trunks, in which they are all 15k power. This is just perfect for it. I can't really think of any other yellow based 15k power um cards that will help this ser but it's very specified in, in that way and it's very intended and pur purposeful which all these SCRs are if anything and then um the fact that you can get gate skills you get a 40k double striker <laughs> for four and then you get to wipe their uh their board as well as their energy in rest mode it's pretty it's pretty awesome like it's it's pretty damn awesome uh, they basically can't play anything turn four. Uh, then uh, there are battle cards, and then when it is removed, you get to do that effect. So overall, I think it's cool. I think one of the, one of the cool interactions is that it is saying to reduce the energy cost by one for each battle card in drop area. The thing about this is that it is a permanent in which I think is a global permanent. I think someone mentioned or someone someone else mentioned that you can search this with uh, Planet Vegeta, in which if you do have all the the criteria met, like all those go and trunks. In the drop area, you can go ahead and use Planet Vegeta because it is now a four cost saying that you can search from your deck. So if someone has something that, that goes against that too, let me know. A couple of other cool interactions or things that, to kind of take in, in consideration is that since um, basically it, <laughs> you negate all the skills by the battle cards, so you're going to have to use your leader or an extra card or something else to remove it. And when you do remove it, you're going to have to be careful of what's in mess, rest mode in, in order to remove it or before you remove it that is so things like slumber strike things like um that two cost goku i do believe the 15k cost goku or 15k attack goku that's from the draft box you can go ahead and remove it for one green energy and then that energy is gone basically or not slumber strike but father son kamehameha still work uh against this as well so a lot of cool things that you can do uh, to remove it 
and a lot of options you can remove. There's there's nothing that you have to kind of worry about for that, that it's going to be hard to remove. Uh, it's just the fact of using energy efficiently, which is a huge thing in DBS in, in general. So in a best of three, this is pretty easy to remove and to uh, prepare for. This one also doesn't have deflect, which is kind of annoying because you can just kind of play it and then there's four energy gone. <laughs> but the best kind of play is to remove it. Uh, so again, that, that trunks SR, that trunks SR that, that uh, sends it back to hand is probably gonna be more and more expensive as people realize that all, uh, a lot of these SCRs are affected by that. Um, especially if we're going into a, a format that actually does play those SCRs. And it's still, it's th that, that card still affects um, pretty much all of the other SCRs that are being played right now too, especially like Black Smoke. Now the last thing is that if you're playing Frieza Prison, uh, like Blue, Berry Blue or something like that, her name, uh, or Mechiobara in which you take control of it, if um, basically it, since it's being removed from the battle area, the, the auto goes off, but because you're the master of that auto, you get to uh, use that auto against the opponent. So turn four, they tap out, they play this card, they swing 40k double strike, you uh, negate it, whatever. It goes to your turn, you play Me Mechiobara, you pay the energy, you take control of it, and now their four energy is gone. I think that's how it, it works because if you look towards the green Broly effect and taking control of that, it doesn't, it, it, it procs off, but it procs off during the master. There is a specific ruling for that in the rule book. If you need it, I can always give that to you. But that is one thing to keep in mind uh, when going against this card. All right, here's the last one. Uh, so basically this one is the great up Grade 8 Mass Saiyan, not Bardock, but Mass Saiyan. And this one is, a, a, of course, ultimate, doesn't have deflect. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> his, the auto is, if you leave a card as model green, and you remove this card from your, uh, your combo area from the game, uh, and not to warp, which is very important, or drop. Um, this, card is, this card is used in a combo. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, and KO it. So that good old Shigesh Kid Goku mentality. We do have a couple cards that already do that, or at least some interactions that do that in the game. But this being a kind of a staple for model green, in which if you're not playing any other SCR like Black Smoke or um, Frieza or, or not Frieza, uh, Cell Zeno or something like that, it could be really good. So stuff like like Slug, stuff like um, Clash Coup or the new um, Address Coup, I do believe, and stuff like that is going to be really good are in those decks but the the issue is that one of the strongest leaders right now in my opinion it is the new starter deck frieza um it can't play it because it can't he's racist he he can't play any saiyans so it's just it's just kind of annoying in that respect but it, it is a really good card uh in which basically they can't really go for a game like any 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 battle card they try to swing with and going triple attack or triple strike or whatever you basically can KO it. And now the other versatility, or the other thing that's kind of versatile about this card is that you can pay um, five green, which of course you can use um, uh, multicolor. Uh, you play it from the hand for five, it gains triple strike, 40k, and dual attack um, to kind of close out the game. So I think overall, this is an awesome card to have in any kind of mono green uh, leader. Um, even if you don't use the auto, which is kind of a huge part and why this makes it super versatile and um, competitive, I think you can still put this in any other deck that plays green and have a, uh, a, uh, a turn five finisher, basically. But without Deflect, it can easily be answered. So it's like, eh. Cool thing about this is that if you do play the Powerball in which uh, searches for a, a great ape or green great ape uh, from the deck, you can get it from there. Uh, I think the, the one drop Toa does say Mass Saiyan as well. If we have any other tutors uh, that search like a green Saiyan or any Saiyan from the top three or top five or any Mass Saiyan, um, that's going to be pretty good to uh, get some support because I don't think any other, the other ones like you can obviously use Senshiro on the leader in order to find that SER, uh, but the other ones don't really have too much. I think the two drop trunks can search out the SS4 Gogeta. Uh, I don't think the, what was it? What was the other one? Oh, the Gotens can be searches for from the uh, the one drop uh, trunks, I do believe, from set seven. So if anything, at least they're all searchable, which is nice. Overall, I think all of these are very awesome. I think they're above average uh, versus any of the other SCRs that have been revealed. I think it sucks that they don't have Deflect, uh, except for the Senshenron. And if I had a kind of, say you know what i would say like overall i think they're very specified and very purposeful and you really have to make the decision of uh do you want to really play these these cards that are either catered to your deck 
better than the other SCRs that we have been playing, basically. In my opinion, mm, I think it really all depends. If I'm playing Sin Shenron, obviously I'm playing the Sin Shenron uh, Secret. And then if I'm playing Mono Green, I'm probably going to be playing that that uh, Mass Saiyan Great Ape, uh, that sort of thing. And if I had to rank them, I think number one is probably the, the Super Saiyan for um, Gogeta. And then it's going to be the uh and the sin shenron honestly like on paper that's still really good um it's just specified i'm probably biased in that and then it's uh mass saiyan and the last one's probably gonna be uh gotens i think they're all good so don't really mind the the list that's just my opinion i'm curious to see yours i think i've talked enough about this subscribe if you're new join the discord like dislike all that other jazz um and i'll see you in the next one